I'm Brittany MacArthur. Yeah, it's untitled. Trigger warning, just saying, for all of you, just saying, okay. Today, I got the crap beat out of me for the hundredth time. I was walking down the street when it burned me like an inverted cross, ricocheting off my skin and slithering into my ears, only hearing the pain of my people being cracked with whips. I feel them every time you say it. You beat me again and again, pummeling my body until I'm motionless. I try to take these hands that have the weight of two-ton boulders and wrap them around my head, bracing for the shock, trying to numb myself. See, you don't understand how effective this pain can be. At first, it's just physical, but it never stays bone deep. It reaches into my psyche and pulls at my heartstrings. Oh, the beating in my chest to the waves of misery. Beatings in my chest through the waves of misery, drifting to the past, seeing my people dragged from the motherland, shipped on a boat, shackled next to each other, three on a slab table, crying and praying, knowing that they will never see their loved ones or family again. Time has stopped. You stop beating into my soul. You said it, nigger like a thousand jackknives stabbing into my flesh. I want to stab into your heart, see? You don't understand that word that's the pain and hurt. You don't know what it's like to be, to be considered intolerable, to be beaten down generation after generation to be told that you're nothing. To be d beat down generation... <sighs> to be beat down generation after generation To be told you have no rights, that you're hearing that you're just an animal. No, you aren't even an animal. The dog next to you is bigger than you. I can't even say that you're the dirt underneath my boots because the dirt will be higher than you when we throw you into the ground. You're not worth a dime because the slave ship you were brought in on wasn't even worth a penny. You're nothing. That is what you tell me every time you say it. Thinking it's okay. Um, trying to brush it off with so-called sarcasm. So every time you drop the N-bomb because you think that the official black card is a real thing, you, it shouldn't even be allowed to play on your lips. It should be obliterated from the dictionary. It shouldn't even be a real thing because it was born out of ignorance and injustice. When you say that word, you're washing away the waves of civil rights movements, death and decay. You don't see the segregation ride in on a dark horse with vigorous tenacity. You don't see it, you don't understand. You haven't experienced it as a culture and it's not the foundation of your history. But if you do think that you are any of these things that you compare to the history that has been laid down before me that is still happening to this day, if you think that you can pass the baton of racism down to your children, then say it. But when you say it, don't whisper it behind my back. Say it to my face.